trouble and you need someone to help you out there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout hey 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 help is on its way call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers call the koala brothers help is on its way One glorious outback morning, Mitzi had decided to do some painting. She'd got out her paints, Frank had found her some paper, and George had agreed to sit while she painted a picture of him. Mitzi, when can I move? Only my nose is kind of itchy. Nearly finished, George, but don't move till I say. Hi there, George. Hi, Frank. Now, you're not keeping George from his deliveries, are you, Mitzi? Oh, it's a... Uh... It's all right, Frank. It's just this itchy nose. There. It's done. Hey, Mitzi. Did you really do this? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with it? N nothing at all. It, 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 Mitzi, it, it, it's... can I move now? Of course you can. Sorry, George. Oh, oh, oh that's better. Oh, oh, oh Mitzi, it... It looks just like me. Really? You think? I thought the same thing. It's really good, Mitzi. Hey, Buster, Ned, come and see Mitzi's painting. Wow, Mitzi, that's brilliant. You know, Mitzi, with a bit of practice, you could be a really good artist. But I already am good, Buster. I just did this brilliant picture. Well, it's great that you're confident, Mitzi, but... Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to clean my brushes. An artist must look after her brushes, you know. Mitzi, can I keep this? I've got a frame at home I can put it in. Of course, George. You keep it. I can always paint another one. Mitzi certainly seemed confident, but Frank wasn't so sure. Could painting great pictures really be that easy? Mitzi couldn't wait to paint someone else and she knew just who that someone should be. Hi, Archie. Would you like me to paint your portrait? I'm really good. A picture? Mmm. Recording my handsome features for all time. Yeah. Righty-ho, Mitzi. You just set up your things and I'll be ready in a jiffy. Uh, mm. Ah, yes. What do you think? With sweatband or... Without sweatband. I don't mind. You choose. Right. The sweatband it is then. No. Yes. No. Although, um... Archie, uh, please, uh, just decide. Uh, all right. I've definitely made up my mind. No sweatband. <laughs> oh, hang on. What do you think? Right. Now, can we...? But a cricket bat would be better, wouldn't it? Mm, yes, it would. Yeah, I know it would. Ah, I'll go and get one. There, I'm ready. Uh, unless you think a football instead. No! I mean, the cricket bat is fine, Archie. Really. Wait, uh, have you got my good side? This isn't my good side. This is. Or, or, or is it this one? No, uh, no, it's definitely this side. I think. Mitzi finally began to paint, but that wasn't the end of her troubles. Because no matter how many times Archie posed... <laughs> and no matter how much she studied his face... Mitzi just could not get her picture to look like him. It's no good. Hmm? What's that? It's no good. I just can't get you right, Archie. Oh. Oh, dear. But uh, didn't you say you were really good? It's not me. It's... it's your nose. It isn't paintable. Excuse me? It's just not the right shape for painting. You just have an unpaintable nose. Sorry. Oh. Uh... Oh, uh, I see. Of course, there was nothing at all wrong with Archie's nose. Well, I'll be seeing ya. But poor Mitzi couldn't um, bear to admit yes, that maybe painting fine. pictures uh, wasn't as easy as she'd first thought. Yeah. 
Still, Mitzi didn't have to wait long to find someone else to paint. Oh, hi there, Mitzi. Oh, hi, Sammy. A little bird told me you painted a great picture of George and I was wondering, well, uh, if you might uh, sort of, uh, you know... Um, paint you? Paint me. That's it, exactly. Well, would you? Mm, let's see. I have to check your nose first. My nose? Mm, I think that's paintable. Right, let's get painting. Oh. You have to stay very still, Sammy. What? Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to stay still, Mitzi, but to be honest, this is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, Sammy. I just have to start again one more time. <sighs> Hi, Sammy. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Frank. How's it going? Great. It's going really great. Oh, no, it's not. It's terrible. I can't paint at all. Oh, sure you can. Yeah, don't give up yet, Mitzi. Do you think I could always fly a plane? Or that Alice could always bake a cake? That Archie could always play tennis? Practicing, that's the important thing. Frank's right, Mitzi. Practice makes perfect. I guess. OK, one more time. Sammy? Oh. Sammy? Oh, dear. I don't know. I know. Why don't you go and find Lolly and paint her instead? Good idea. OK, then. <laughs> Afternoon, Mitzi. What have you got there? Oh, hi, Lolly. Just painting stuff. Hey, I don't suppose you want your picture painted, do you? Frank says I need to practice. Oh, I would love that. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Practice. <sighs> oh, it's no good. I know what practice makes. A big pile of scrunched up paper. Is uh, everything all right there, Mitzi? I thought if I practised long enough, I'd be able to paint another picture like the one I did of George. But let's face it, I just can't paint. <sighs> hey, Mitzi. I was thinking, will you paint my picture? Maybe tomorrow? Sorry, Ned. I'm giving it up. I wasn't any good at painting after all. Please paint my picture, Mitzi. Please. I'm sorry, Ned. I'm never going to paint again. Not ever. Maybe you were a bit lucky with that picture of George, Mitzi. And maybe it'll take a while to do another picture that good. But I'm sure you can do it. Maybe. Mitzi, Frank's had an idea. You have to come into town with me, Mitzi. Why? You'll see. But you have to come now. What's happening in town? Why does Mitzi have to go there? Well, Ned, Mitzi, it's because... It's because... We're here to help! Oh. So what's the big mystery, Frank? You'll see. Come on. Oh, there's no hey, Josie. Hey, Alice. What's going on? We're just waiting to get in and see your picture of George. Again. I've seen it three times. I keep forgetting how good it is. It's a... Uh... Oh, what's the word? Oh, yes. It's brilliant, Mitzi. I just wish I could paint like that. It's perfect. Oh, thanks. It's not so hard. It just takes... Practice. <laughs> That's what it takes, Alice. Lots and lots of practice. So, Mitzi decided that maybe she would keep on practising after all. Because if getting a picture right made her feel as good as she did right now, then all the practice would be worth it. If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, call the Koala Brothers, help is on its way. One 
One day at the homestead, Mitzi was very excited. Frank and Buster had been working all morning on a special project, and at last it was ready. Wow! Oh, thanks, Frank. Thanks, Buster. This is great. Yeah, I've always wanted a rope swing. Bags, I go first. Huh? OK, but make sure Ned gets a turn, won't you? Oh, sure. We'd better get on, Buster. Right, Frank. Hiya, Ned. I want to go higher. Whee! <laughs> this is so much fun. Uh, Mitzi, do you think I could have a swing now? Of course you can, Ned. Fair's fair after all. <laughs> Mitzi, where are you going? Dunno, to find something else to do. Aren't you going to push? Uh, no thanks. I don't really like the pushing bit. But, Mitzi, you have to take your turn. I can't get this swing going on my own. Someone has to push me. Mitzi! Mitzi wasn't trying to be mean to Ned. She just didn't enjoy pushing the swing. And she didn't see why she should do something she didn't enjoy. Hello! Hello there! Hi, Mitzi! Hey, what you doing? We're going to play a game of hide-and-seek. Would you like to play? Sure! That sounds fantastic! What about you, Master Ned? No thanks, Archie. I'm just going to stay here and learn to swing. Come on, who's going to be the first seeker? I will if you like. <laughs> <laughs> so they started their game. First of all, Josie counted while the others hid. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Coming, ready or not? Oh, Miss Josie, you found me. Then Archie took his turn. I'm afraid you're caught this time, Miss Josie. Oh. <laughs> 96, 97, then Alice was the seeker. 99, 100. Gotcha. <laughs> it was great fun. And Mitzi turned out to be a really good hider. I knew you wouldn't think of looking up there. Radio, who's seeking this time? Um, uh, I think. I think it's your turn, Mitzi. Oh, that's all right. Skip me. I don't want to be a seeker. Oh, but you have to be, Mitzi. Someone else can take my turn. But everyone has to take their turn as seeker, Mitzi. It's not fair otherwise. Look, just between us, I only really like the hiding part. Seeking looks a bit boring to me. That's why everyone takes a turn at it. That's why it's called hide and seek. And not hide and hide. Oh, all right. That's the spirit. Ha! Now, remember, count to 100 and no peeking. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mitzi didn't want to let her friends nine, down. She really didn't, but... Oh, it's no good, guys. This is just so boring. Guys? Guys? <laughs> so Mitzi walked off and left everyone playing their game. It was quite a while before anyone realised just what had happened. Archie? Ah! Ah, Josie, um, you didn't scare me at all. Archie, do you think maybe Mitzi's forgotten about seeking? Mm. She has been an awfully long time. Maybe we should go back. Uh, yes, I think perhaps you're right. Meanwhile, back at the homestead, Ooh. it seemed that Ned's hard work was Ooh. finally paying off. I did it! I did it! Frank! Buster! I swung! Come and watch! <laughs> 
What's all the excitement, Ned? Yeah, what you doing? Well, do you remember this morning you were... Uh -huh. What? Weren't you playing hide and seek? Oh, yeah, I was. But the seeking part is really boring. So I decided to come back here and water my plants. So, Ned, what were you saying? Uh, Mitzi, where are the others? Mm. Um, you did tell them you weren't playing anymore, didn't you? Um... <gasps> oh, no! Archie! Alice! Josie! You really should have told us you weren't playing anymore, Mitzi. I know, guys. I'm really sorry. Oh, I suppose there's no real harm done, eh, Miss Josie? You know, Mitzi, taking turns is really important. I know. I know. After all, it's no fun hiding if nobody's seeking. You can say that again. Mm. Um, talking about seeking, wasn't Alice playing too? <gasps> oh, Alice! Everyone began to think that Alice might be lost. Mitzi started to get worried. This is all my fault. Oh, don't worry, Mitzi. We'll help you to find Alice. After all, we're here to help. You all look for Alice on the ground. We'll take the plane up and see if we can see her from the air. Right. Stand by. Standing Stand by. by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckled up. Mitzi and the others looked everywhere, but no matter how hard they looked, they just couldn't find where Alice was hiding. There she is! Right out, Buster! Is she... is she all right? Alice! Alice, are you OK? Oh, hello. I must have fallen asleep. I'm really sorry, Alice. I walked off in the middle of our game because I thought the seeking bit was boring, but I shouldn't have. I won't do it again. And anyway, it was fun helping look for Alice. Seeking isn't boring at all. So next time you play, I'll seek first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ned, I was all wrong about hide and seek. Maybe I was wrong about the swing too. What I mean is, I'll push you now if you like. Oh, there's no need now, Mitzi. I've learned how to swing myself. Look. Oh, OK. Mind you, I suppose I still need a bit of a push to get higher. Really? <laughs> so everything turned out well in the end. Thanks to the Koala Brothers, Mitzi realised that it's better to take turns when you play a game. That way, everyone has a good... If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, 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 help is on its way. Call the Koala Brothers, call the One day, if you were passing by the Koala Brothers' homestead, you might have wondered what had happened to Buster. Hey, Frank, can you give me a hand here? That's because Frank and Buster were helping Mitzi practice her nursing skills. Has anyone seen Ned? He's, uh, in his caravan, Mitzi. So, you feeling better? Fine. 
There was nothing wrong in the first place, Mitzi. I know that, but if I'm going to be a nurse, I need to practice. Ned! <laughs> Ned! Open the door. Can you come back later? Oh, I'm counting my rock collection. Ned, I need to check your bandages. Please? So, how's the patient feeling? I'm feeling like I don't want to play patients and nurses anymore. Of course you do, Ned. You're my best patient. Sorry, Mitzi. Oh. <sighs> Did you see that? Ned doesn't want to be my patient anymore. You have been working on him all week, Mitzi. Well, if I can't find a patient here, I'll have to go out there. There must be someone in the outback I can practice on. Good luck, Mitzi. You should put that plant in the shade, Buster. The sun's too strong. Yes, I, uh... Thanks, Mitzi. So Nurse Mitzi set out towards town to see if she could find a patient to practice on. George the turtle had been on his feet all morning. That's why he always had a little tea break around 11 o'clock. Hi, George! Oh. Oh. oh, morning, Mitzi. My, you're looking smart today. Hmm. Well, you look a bit tired. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I feel as right as rain. I'm uh, just having a little rest before I finish delivering the post. <sighs> oh. oh. Oh, dear. What, what, what is it, Mitzi? What can you hear? A horrible, rumbly, gurgling noise. Oh, that'll be me tummy. I'm starving. Oh. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with you, George? Nothing a sandwich can't sort out, but if there is, you'll be the first to know. Oh, there must be someone out there who needs nursing. So Mitzi decided to pay Archie a house call to see if he needed any nursing help. Cooey! Archie! I'm round here, in the garden. OK. Hi, Archie. Ah, Mitzi, I say, you look super. It's my nurse's uniform. I'm paying you a house call to see if you're OK. Uh, uh, nope, I'm in tip-top archy condition. Well, I think we should double-check you anyway. Oh. Can you stand on one leg? Easy. Now, touch your nose. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> now, now, what's next? Uh, now, hold your breath and hop on one foot. Ah, right. <gasps> oh, you are in tip-top condition. Ah. Ah. Yes, uh, that's more than can be said for my carrots. They're tiny. You only get big carrots if you plant them further apart. I'm off into town. Maybe I'll find someone who isn't as tip-top as you, Archie. Oh. Uh, right oh. Bye, Mitzi. Right, further away. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mitzi sure is keen to be a nurse. Yeah. I wonder if she's found a proper patient yet. If she doesn't, she'll be really disappointed. <laughs> In town, Nurse Mitzi had found herself another patient. Oh. How does it look? Looks all right. Mm. Might be an idea to test your reflexes, though, just to be on the safe side. Oh, what are my reflexes? Your reflexes are when you do things quickly without thinking. Oops. <laughs> See what I mean? Well, Josie, there's nothing wrong with you either. Huh? There's nothing wrong with anybody. <laughs> Mitzi realised that none of her friends were unwell. 
She really wished she could have a proper patient to make better. How do you think Mitzi got on? You can ask her yourself. Here she is. Hi Mitzi, oh. how did nursing go? It didn't. I couldn't find a patient. We've, uh, we've got your bandages all ready to go. Um, I can be your patient again if you'd like. Thanks, but I think I'll just have a lie down for a bit. Oh, she looks so disappointed. If only there was something we could do to help. <sighs> Poor Mitzi. If there weren't any patients, then there was no need for a nurse. Oh. It looked like her dream of being Nurse Mitzi was over. Alice, what's up? I didn't know where else to come, Frank. It's my rubber plant. It's gone all droopy. Do you think you could help me? Mm, I'm sorry, Alice. We don't know that much about plants. Oh. But we know someone who does, Frank. Mitzi. Oh, brilliant idea, Buster. What's all the noise about? Alice needs your help, Mitzi. Doesn't she feel well? She's fine, but her rubber plant's gone all droopy. Oh. I know it's not a real patient, Mitzi, but you're the only one who knows enough about plants to help. Right. I'll need compost, plant food and string. This sounds like an emergency. I'm right on it, Mitzi. Where's the patient, Frank? Shocks away, Buster. Shocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Mitzi. Buckled up. So Mitzi, the flying plant nurse, had finally got her first patient. <laughs> Any news, Frank? Nothing yet. Mitzi's been in there for ages. Fine, Alice. Hooray! Just needed a good watering and some plant food. But most of all, it needs plenty of fresh air. Thank you, Nurse Mitzi. I've written it all down so you won't forget. Oh. Well done, Mitzi. I feel like a proper nurse. Yeah. Thanks to you guys. We're here to help. So it all ended well. Mitzi did get to be a nurse after all. And she realised it wasn't just people who needed looking after. Sometimes <laughs> plants do too. <laughs> <laughs>